everyone to uh, Parkinson's Care and Support UK, Mindfulness Yoga um, for People with Parkinson's. I am Charlotte, for those of you who I don't know, but I, I recognise most of you here. Um, and I am a uh, yoga teacher specialising in um, yoga for people with Parkinson's. Um, I think I mentioned, or I might have mentioned last time, that um, my background um, is when I became a yoga teacher a few years ago, around the same time, my father was diagnosed with Parkinson's. And I worked with my father a lot, um, doing a lot of chair yoga, um, but also mindfulness yoga. And that's kind of um, why I love this practice so much. Um, so I hope you guys uh, will love it too. Just a couple things about um, Parkinson's Care and Support UK. So hopefully you guys are all familiar with this um, amazing charity who really work on the um, holistic, holistic um, uh, approaches to um, helping people with Parkinson's. They do a lot of things like this yoga, also Qigong and fitness, nutrition. So looking at things like that, um, they have this wonderful Facebook group with lots of free content where it's called their Exercise Hub, Hub so lots of free video content. Um, also just to mention, of course, all of these classes and all of the video content is completely and absolutely free to you guys. Um, but just to mention, if you did want to donate, they have a um, access to donate, a place you can donate on their website. So just to mention that, um, thank you guys all for joining. So mindfulness yoga is all about the mind, body, breath awareness. So it's less about or just not about how a pose or how you think a pose should be. So try to just let go of any frustrations or any judgments on how you think it should be and just explore where you are. So we can come at it with a little bit more fun and a little bit more playfulness um, and really using that breath, body, mind awareness to just help us feel a little bit of calm, which is more important than ever with all the stuff which is going on in uh, the outside world. Um, we'll also be doing some relaxation and some stretching as well. So hopefully you guys will be feeling really, really good at the end of practice. So I am going to put everyone on mute, um, not because I don't love to hear your voices, it's just because it makes it better for people to hear me. Please do take the class really gently um, and carefully. Although I can see some of you, it is very small, tiny boxes. So um, it's just good for you guys to just take it really slow and carefully. And if something doesn't feel good in the body, please just don't do it. Um, everything I show you today, the movement and the breath is an invitation. So that really is what it means, an invitation for you to explore where you are, but you, it's not a necessity. So we're going to start standing and just do a little bit of a warm up. And then we are going to come, the invitation is to come down to lie down on the floor. But if that's not comfortable for you, that's absolutely fine. I've got a chair as well. You can come to sit in a chair. So let's start standing. Um, and the last thing to just mention is that when people join the meeting, I have to come to my laptop to push a button to let them in. So if you keep seeing me running back and forth to my laptop, that is what I'm doing. So guys, let's start in our mountain pose. So just bring the feet hip distance apart and lift all 10 toes, spread them and place them back down onto the ground. Can you just have a look down at the feet and make sure that they're straight? So you've got this line from your hip bone to your knee, straight to your toes. So sometimes the feet have a tendency to maybe be outwards, or sometimes the feet have a tendency to come in, or maybe one's in and one's out. So just making sure you've got that nice kind of straight alignment. And then we're going to build up um, through the body. So just a slight lift of the kneecap. Bring the arms down beside the body. Bring the shoulders down the back. Bring the chin parallel to the earth. And then just take a big breath in and a long breath out. Inhale, big breath in and a long breath out. 
Breathing in. And breathing out. One more, inhale. And exhale. So keeping the feet grounded on the earth, shift all the weight more into the left side of the body. So the feet stay on the floor. So it's a bit like the leaning tower of Pisa. And then come back to your center. And then leaning the weight more into the right side of the body. And then coming back through center, really gently leaning the weight a little bit backwards. So now there's more weight in the heels and just notice what activates in the legs when you do this. And then coming back through center, leaning a little bit forward. So now there's more weight in the toes and the balls of your feet. And just notice how it feels in the legs as you do this. And then coming back through center. So having felt left to right, front to back, can you feel where you are really centered? So there's equal weight through the feet. And then from here, inhale the shoulders up towards the ears. And exhale the shoulders slowly down the back away from the ears. Breathing in, bring the shoulders all the way up to the ears. And exhale the shoulders away from the ears down the back. Breathing in, bring the shoulders up towards the ears. And exhale the shoulders down the back. Two more of these. Breathing in, bring the shoulders all the way up towards the ears. And exhale the shoulders down the back. Last one. Breathing in. Bring the shoulders all the way up towards the ears. And exhale the shoulders down the back. And then this time, bring the shoulders forward. So I'll just show you from the side. So bring the shoulders forward. And then bring the shoulders backwards. Bring the shoulders forward. Bring the shoulders backwards. Bring the shoulders forward and bring the shoulders backwards. So I'm going to add the breath now. Breathing in, bring the shoulders forward and breathing out, bring the shoulders backwards. Two more of these. Inhale, bring the shoulders forward and exhale, bring the shoulders backwards. Last one, breathing in, bring the shoulders forward and exhale, bring the shoulders backwards. And then just coming back into a, a neutral spine. And we're going to add on to that a little bit now. And you can stay facing me. I'm just going to turn to the side to show you. This time, we're going to inhale, bring the shoulders backwards and bring the arms with it. So the arms come a little bit backwards, puff the chest, slight bend in the knees so there's a bit of a buoyancy in the legs. And then exhale, curve the spine, Bring the chin to the chest and move the arms forward. Keeping a slight bend in the knee. Breathing in. Puff your chest. Bring the shoulders backwards. Arms a little bit backwards and gaze up just a little bit. And exhale. Bring your chin to your chest. Arms forward, slight bend in the knee. Breathing in. Puff your chest. Shoulders away from the ears. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Slight gaze up and exhale. Round the spine, bring your chin to your chest. Last one, breathing in. Puff your chest, arms a little bit backwards, gazing up and exhale. Scoop your belly in, round your back and bring your chin to your chest and then just coming back up into your neutral spine. And then from here, we're gonna come into our upper uh, rotation. So keep the legs and the hips facing straight and just start to rotate the upper body. And there's a nice bend in the knees, so the legs aren't locked. There's a bend in the knees, so there's a little bit of buoyancy there. Can you let your arms feel heavy? So let the arms be heavy as you turn from side to side. And an option to increase the velocity. So maybe, you go a little bit faster. And then there's this moment in time when you come to the end of each flick where the hands are giving the sides of the belly a little bit of a pat. So we're just stimulating the internal organs, 
We're just giving ourselves a little bit of energy. And then start to slow down the velocity. Until you slow right down. And then coming to stillness, just take a moment to tune into the body and notice anything, any feeling in the arm, maybe a bit of tingling, a bit of energy running through the body. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. And then we're going to do an exercise for the hands. So I'm just going to come a bit closer so you can see my hands. Hopefully the lighting is okay. So we're going to start with bringing your index finger to the corners of where your thumb meets your hand. And then start to run your index finger up to the top of the thumb and then come to the other side of the thumb, so this part of the thumb, and then run your index finger along to the top of the thumb. And then once you get to the top, flick. And then thumb to your index finger. So where your index finger meets the hand, run your thumb up the index finger to the tip and then coming to the top of the index finger with the thumb and run your thumb all the way down the top of your index finger. And when you get to the nail, flick. Keeping with the thumb, bring your thumb to the ring finger and press your thumb as you sweep the thumb up the ring finger and then coming to the back of the ring finger and sweep your thumb all the way to the nail and when you get to the nail flick and then thumb to the ring finger starting in the palm side running the thumb up the ring finger and then coming to the back of the ring finger and run your thumb all the way up until you get to the nail and flick and then last of all coming to your pinky finger, run your thumb up the pinky finger, and then the back of the pinky finger, which is a bit of a hard one, and then when you get to the nail, flick. And then from here, take the palms of the hands onto the forearm, and sweep the hands onto the forearm, and flick. And then once more, sweep the forearm, and flick. And then the, each palm of the hand, so take a hand with one hand, and just sweep that hand and flick. And last of all, the other hand and flick and then shake it off. And then go from the right side of the room and shake off the hand. And then coming back through center and then go to the left side of the room and shake off the hand. And coming back through the center, shake up really high. And then coming through to the center, shake down really low. And then coming back through the center, finally drop the arms down beside the body and just take a moment once more to feel into the fingers and the hand, any tingling, any energy. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. And then from here, bring the hands onto the hips. Bring a little bend towards in the knees. So the knees, there's a buoyancy there. And we're just going to rotate the hips in one direction. Just circling the hip joint. And then make this your last circle in this direction. And then going in the opposite direction. So these circles are really good for di helping digestion. So good digestion. It helps uh, all the processing and the stimulation which is going on in the belly. And then make this your last big circle. And then coming to stillness. Bring the hands down onto the tops of the thighs and just bring the feet a little bit closer in. So now they're a little bit closer than hip distance. And then we're just going to do tiny, tiny circles with the knees going in the same direction. So the knees are moving together and this is very subtle. And then going in the opposite direction. And 
and then coming to stillness, coming back up, this time widen the feet. So now the feet are a little bit wider than hip distance. Inhale both arms into the air, and then imagine you're drawing a circle on the ceiling with your fingertips. Have a slight bend in the knees, so once again the legs have a buoyancy, they're not locked. One more in this direction, and then change direction. Big circle with the arms. Make this your last big one. And then slowly drop the arms down beside the body and keep the feet as they are, nice and wide. And bring both hands onto the belly, underneath the belly button. Can you bring your left hand down first? and your right hand on top of your left. Slight bend in the knee. On your next inhale, open your right arm towards the right side of the room. And exhale, bring the right hand back in towards the belly. But this time, placing the right hand down and inhale the left arm, open the left arm wide. And exhale, softly, slowly, bringing the left hand back towards the belly. Breathing in, right arm reaches towards the right side of the room. And then maybe the right arm reaches a little bit backwards, like behind shoulder. And you can turn the gaze towards the right hand. And exhale, sweep the right hand back in towards the belly. Breathing in, left arm opens wide, so it's like a wing open towards the side, option for the arm to go behind shoulder and for the gaze to turn to meet the hand. Exhale, bringing the left hand in towards the body. Breathing in, open the arm really wide, keep the shoulders down the back, option for the right hand to move backwards in space and exhale, softly bringing the arm back in towards the belly. Breathing in, left arm open, like a door opening or a wingspan expanding. Option to turn to look towards the hand as it moves and exhale, bringing the hand back in towards the belly. One more on each side, breathing in. Big breath in as you expand the arm. As you're expanding the arm, you're expanding the lungs. And exhale, sweeping that hand back in towards the belly. Last one on this side, breathing in. Open the left arm to the left side of the room. Option to open even wider and for the gaze to follow the hand. And then slowly bring the arm back in towards the belly. Bring the arms down the side and step the feet in so they're back to that hip distance apart with the arms down the side of the body. So we're gonna do another uh, movement with the breath. This one involves the arms and I'm gonna take you through the arm movement first. So don't worry too much about the breath and then I will add the breath later. So start with the arms beside the hips with the palms facing backwards. Lift your arms forward towards me or towards the front of the room with the palms facing down. Come to shoulder height. And then turn your right palm to look at your left palm. Open the arms wide so that your hands are pointing to each side of the room. And then turn your palms towards the ceiling. Lift both arms, see if you can do it at the same time. So your fingers reach towards the sky and then turn the palms towards the front of the room and lower both arms down beside the hips with the palms facing backwards back where we started. So we're going to do that twice more and this time we're going to invite the breath. So starting with the arms beside the body, palms facing down. Breathing in, lifting the arms forward to shoulder height, palms facing down. Exhale, turn your right palm to look at your left palm. Breathing in, open the arms really wide as if you're asking someone for a really big hug. And exhale, turn both palms towards the sky. Inhale, lift both arms at the same time towards the ceiling, bring the shoulders away from the ears. 
and exhale, turn the palms towards the front of the room and lower both arms down the sides of the body. So we're back where we started, hands pointing backwards. One more, breathing in, raising both arms to shoulder height, palms facing down. Exhale, turn your right palm to look at your left palm. Inhale, open both arms really wide, pointed to each side of the room. And exhale, turn both palms towards the sky. Breathing in, reach both arms into the air, bring the shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, turn the palms towards the front of the room and lower both arms beside the body, back where we started. Well done, everyone. And then just one more thing before we come down onto the floor. We're going to do a mindful walk forward. So I'm going to walk backwards so I can walk forward. So depending how much room you have, you may want to do this also. So what I love about this is just practicing how we can bring that idea of being mindful, doing something which we do every single day, such as walking. But it also could be washing the dishes making the bed or you know walking in your garden doing anything that you do when we bring that real attention to how does it feel what's happening in the body as you do this what muscles is it activating it can totally change the experience so we're going to do this mindful walk forward so just start hip distance and then how slowly can you shift the weight into your right foot and lift the left leg and we're going to step the left foot forward but can you step the heel down first so the left heel and then imagine you've just licked the stamp and you're pressing the stamp down corner to corner so pressing down the middle section of the foot first then the ball then spread the toes bringing the toes and at the same time peeling off the back foot shifting all the weight into the left foot and lifting the right leg Step the right foot forward, but can you do heel first? Then arch, then ball, then toe, shift the weight forward and lift the next foot. So I'm going to stop talking so that you can carry on your mindful walk forward. Can you bring the awareness to the soles of your feet? How does it feel as you walk forward? And then when you're finished your walk forward, just coming back to your mat and let's come down to the floor. So please come carefully and remember the option to sit in the chair if you need it. So we're going to come to all fours and that's why you may want your cushion or blanket. So we won't be here for very long. So softly, softly, coming into tabletop you may want a cushion underneath your knees between your knees and the floor option to sit in the chair if you need it if you're kneeling bring the legs hip distance apart bring the backs of the shins on the floor the backs of the feet on the floor and bring the hands underneath the shoulders and really spread the fingers we're going to come into cat and cow pose. So to do this, and we did this when we were standing, on the inhale, rock your tailbone towards the sky, drop your belly towards the floor, move the shoulders away from the ears, and gaze forward. On the exhale, scoop your belly in, so squeeze the belly in, round the spine, tuck your tailbone, Bring your chin to your chest and press your hands into the floor. Breathing in, rock the tailbone towards the sky, bring the shoulders away from the ears, gazing forward. And exhale, scoop your belly in, round your spine, bring your chin to your chest and press your palms into the floor. Can you do two more rounds of that in your own time? And the invitation is to close down your eyes and really just feel into the movement. 
And for anyone who sat in a chair, you can do the same thing with the hands onto the thighs. And like we did earlier, move the shoulders away from the ears, puff the chest, gazing up. And then on the exhale, scooping the belly in, rounding the spine and bring your chin to your chest. And just finishing your last round of your cat and your cow. And then when you're finished, slowly coming down onto the bum and bringing the feet flat onto the floor, we're gonna to come to lie on the back. And if you're sat in the chair, just continue being seated in the chair and you can do the whole of this section sat in the chair. Bring your feet hip distance apart, knees pointing up towards the ceiling. Have the arms wide with the palms facing up and close down your eyes. With the eyes closed, just start to bring your awareness from the outside world inside inside the room you're in, onto the floor or the chair you're on, and into your body. So just letting go of anything you did earlier today or letting go of any plans you have to later. So just making a commitment to practice being present. So we're just practicing being exactly where we are. So just noticing how the body is feeling as you lie on the floor. And just starting at the toes and the feet, just noticing what you feel here. Moving through the calves, the knees and the thighs. Which areas feel like they need a really good stretch or softening? Bring your awareness to your buttocks and your sacrum and your hips. Just noticing any sensation. There might be some tension or tightness. Then moving through the back of the body, the lower back, the middle back, and the upper back. Which parts of the body feel alive and which parts of the body feel like they need some attention? Bring your awareness to your shoulders, just noticing how they're feeling. And then the front of the body, the belly, the chest. Moving through the upper arms, the forearms and the hands. Just noticing any feelings or sensations. Moving through the neck the head and the face. Just becoming aware of the whole body. And like we've just done this scan of our physical body, we're gonna do the same thing with our energy levels. So just notice as you scan your energy levels, are you feeling full of energy and raring to go? Or are you feeling a little depleted a little sleepy, and like you need another cup of tea and coffee. Can you notice it without any judgment or frustration? And just rather than looking for reasons why you're feeling like that, just noticing how it is. And then how are you feeling emotionally? Are you happy, angry, sad, bored, frustrated? Maybe you're feeling calm. And once again, without looking for any reasons why, just notice it how it is. And then noticing your breath, your natural inhale and your natural exhale. And just noticing if your breath is short or long, shallow or deep. And we're just going to invite a deeper breath. And the invitation today for our breath practice is an inhale through the nose 
And then exhale through the mouth, through pursed lips, as if you're blowing out a candle. So just practice that now. And inhale through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth, through pursed lips, as if you're blowing out a candle. So the invitation with the breath is an inhale for the count of two through the nose, and an exhale through the mouth through pursed lips for a count of four. Once again, it is just an invitation. If it doesn't feel good, please just breathe normally. So you're going to do the breathing. I'm going to do the counting. So just start by breathing in normally and breathing out normally, and then inhale through the nose. One, two, exhale mouth. One, two, three, four. Inhale nose. One, two, exhale mouth. One, two, three, four. Inhale nose. One, two, exhale mouth. One, two, three, four. Inhale nose. One, two, exhale mouth. One, two, three, four. Inhale nose. One, two, exhale mouth. One, two, three, four. Inhale nose. One, two, exhale mouth. One, two, three, four. Last one. Inhale nose. One, two, exhale mouth. One, two, three, four. And just return your breath to normal. Your normal inhale and normal exhale. And just notice any changes to the breath any new sensations, maybe there aren't any, and that's fine too. And then slowly blinking the eyes open, if they're not open already, let's bring some movement into the body now. So inhale here, and on the exhale, turning just the head towards the right shoulder. So it's just the head that's moving, turning the head towards the right shoulder. Breathing in, bring the head back to look at the ceiling, and exhale, turning the head towards the left shoulder. Inhale the head back through center and slowly, slowly exhale the head towards the right shoulder. And just notice how it feels in the neck and the back as you do this. Breathing in, bring the head back through center and exhale. Gently turning the head towards the left shoulder. Breathing in, bring the head back through center and exhale, turning the head towards the right shoulder. Breathing in, bring the head back through center and exhale the head towards the left shoulder. One more on each side. Inhale the head looking at the ceiling and exhale turning the head towards the right shoulder. Coming back through center, last one. Turning the head towards the left shoulder and bringing the head back through center. Bring the arm beside the body with the palms facing down. So now the arms are closest by the hips with the palms facing down. On your next inhale, lift both arms slowly into the air. So we're gonna very slowly reach the fingertips towards the ceiling, but at the same time, bring the shoulders into the earth. So the shoulders aren't lifting. And on the exhale, slowly lower the arms down behind you but you know it's not about the arms reaching the floor so maybe the arms touch the floor maybe they don't if it's feeling really tight in the shoulders widen the arms so they're a big wide v-shaped rather than having the arms really close by the ears breathing in lifting both arms we're going back the way we came reaching both arms towards the sky and exhale slowly both arms down beside the hip palm facing down we're going to do that a couple more times so starting with the arms by the hip palm facing down breathing in lifting both arms into the air just notice if one arm is leading the way can you equalize the movement so the arms move at the same time? And exhale, slowly lowering the arms behind you, but remember, it doesn't matter if the arms don't touch the floor. If it feels tight in the shoulders, 
big wide V shape with the arms and that really helps. And then breathing in, lifting both arms. Just checking you don't have one dominant arm leading the way. Can you mindfully move both arms at the same time and exhale, slowly lower the arms down the sides, the hips with the palms facing down. We're going to do that one more time. Breathing in, lifting the arms into the air. Reaching the fingers towards the ceiling, but bring the shoulders into the air. And exhale, slowly lowering the arms behind you. Maybe on the floor, maybe not. Maybe you take a big wide V shape with the arms to just help in the shoulders. And then inhale, lifting both arms into the air. Reach the fingers towards the ceiling and exhale the arms slowly down the side of the hip. This time, Breathe again, once more, lift both arms. But this time we're gonna stay with the arms pointing towards the ceiling, the arms above the shoulders. Turn your right palm to look at your left palm. So the right palm is looking at your left palm. Press your shoulders downwards into the earth. Bring your awareness into your right arm. On the inhale, Reach the right fingertips towards the ceiling and peel the right shoulder and shoulder blade away from the earth. Exhale, lower the right shoulder and shoulder blade back downwards into the ground. Left arm. Inhale, reach the left fingertips towards the sky and lift the left shoulder and shoulder blade away from the earth. Exhale, press the left shoulder and shoulder blade downwards into the ground. Right palm, inhale, reach the right fingertips towards the ceiling and lift the right shoulder and shoulder blade away from the ground. And exhale, bring the right shoulder blade downwards and press it into the earth. Left arm, inhale, reach the left arm towards the ceiling, peel the left shoulder and shoulder blade away from the ground. And exhale, press the left shoulder and shoulder blade downwards. Last one on each side, breathing in. Reach the right hand towards the ceiling. Maybe explore if there's a little bit more reach than you thought you had. And exhale, press your right shoulder and shoulder blade into the earth. Left arm. Inhale, reach the left fingertips more towards the sky. Just explore your full range of movement. And exhale, pressing the left shoulder and shoulder blade downwards into the earth. Bring the upper arm onto the floor. Keep the elbows bent. So the forearms and the hands are still pointing up towards the ceiling. So we've got robot arms. And then start to rotate both wrist joints in one direction. Nice and slowly. And then moving the wrist in the opposite direction. And then from here, come to stillness and make fists with both hands to so really squeeze your fingers into this. Imagine that your fists are flower buds and we're going to slowly open the fingers but do it slowly like a flower's blossoming. So open the fingers wide and then take it to the widest so really spread the fingers as wide as they go. One more time, bring the fingers into fists, really make fists with the hands. And then start to blossom slowly your fingers outward until they're really, really spread. And then bring both knees in towards the chest. Option to have the hands on the kneecap, or maybe the hands are on the underneath of the thighs and rock the sacrum from side to side. So we're just giving the lower back a bit of a massage when we do this. And then slowly coming to stillness. Bring the left sole of the foot onto the ground with the left knee pointing towards the ceiling and take the right leg with both hands with the knee bent still. Take an inhale here and on the exhale, just explore if maybe 
that right knee squeezes a bit in towards the chest. And then start to rotate your right ankle joint in one direction. So I love this idea of like, we're giving each little bit of the body a bit of attention that doesn't need to get attention. And it's almost like oiling, like giving a little bit of oil to each part of the body. And then rotate your right ankle joint in the opposite direction. And then coming to stillness, bring the left knee back in towards the chest. And now the left hand on the left knee and drop the right sole of the foot towards the floor with the right knee pointing up towards the ceiling and bring both hands onto the left knee. Option to maybe on your next exhale, squeeze the left knee a little bit more in towards the upper body and then rotating the left ankle joint in one direction, nice and slowly. and rotating the left ankle joint in the opposite direction and then slowly bringing the left sole of the foot back to the floor both feet hip distance apart and once again open the arms wide so the arms can be at shoulder height or you know wherever feels good for you so maybe that can be lower or higher depending how you what feels comfortable Bring the palms facing up and we're going to come into windscreen wiper legs, which is one of my favorites of the moment. We take an inhale here and on the exhale, keep the back flat to the floor and rock both of your legs towards the right hand side of the room. So maybe the legs touch the floor, maybe they don't. Option to even put a few cushions on the right or, and left side of the legs. So we're just rocking the legs down towards the right. So imagine windscreen wipers. But we're going to keep this moving, breathing in. Bring your knees back through center so the knees point up to the ceiling once more. And exhale, rocking both the legs over towards the left. And remember, it doesn't matter if the legs don't touch the ground. Maybe use cushions under the knees for a little bit of padding. And then breathing in, bring both legs back to center, knees pointing up towards the ceiling. We're gonna keep moving. Exhale, bring both legs towards the right-hand side of the room. Option to turn your head towards the left. So opposite head to leg. Breathing in, bring the head and the legs back to center. And exhale, legs towards the left, head towards the right. Breathing in. Bring the legs and the head back through center and exhale, bring your legs to the right and head to the left. And inhale, bringing the legs and the head back through center and last one, bring the legs to the left and the head to the right. And then bringing the knees back through center with the knees pointing up to the ceiling, feet flat on the floor, and close down your eyes. Take a big breath in through the nose, fill the lungs, and exhale through the mouth. Breathing in. Fill your whole body with breath. And exhale out the mouth, let go. Breathing out. One more. Breathing in. Fill the lungs. Fill the body. And exhale out the mouth. All the breath from the body. And just return your breath to normal. Keeping the eyes closed. And then just start to bring to mind somewhere outside where you might lie like this. Or if you're sat in a chair, somewhere outside where you may sit. Maybe that's your garden, a park, a meadow, in a mountain, by a lake, a stream. Maybe it's on a beach. 
wherever you are, you feel completely safe and supported. You have nowhere to be and nothing to do. The weather is perfect. Not too hot and not too cold. And there's a beautiful blue sky above you. And you can even start to feel the warm rays of the sun pouring down onto your entire body. And with that in mind, we're coming into final relaxation. So the options are to lengthen your legs long along the mat. And let the feet step out to the side, keeping the arms wide or taking any comfortable position with the arms. So just taking a moment to get as comfortable as possible. And keeping the eyes closed. On your next exhale, just start to let go and relax. And that warm glow from the sun warms the earth beneath you. You can start to feel the warm rays radiating up, radiating up into your body. And that warm glow starts to pour into the soles of your feet, filling your feet and your ankles with this warm light moving through your calf muscles and your knees. And as this warm light starts to radiate up into your legs, it melts any tension or tightness. So start to feel tension melt away from your bones. Warm light fills your knees and your thighs, melting any tension so that your whole leg can completely relax. Start to feel your hips are loose and free and completely relaxed. And this warm glow from the sun pours into your belly. And as it does, it starts to melt away any tension, but also any fears and anxieties melt away and drip down into the earth. Warm glow starts to warm your sacrum, your lower back, your middle back, and your upper back. So on your next exhale, feel the back completely relax. Pouring into your chest. This warm light circles around your heart and gets brighter every time you breathe in, warming the whole area around your heart and pouring into your shoulders. On your next exhale, feel the shoulders completely relax. Moving through your upper arms your forearms, the palms of the hands through each finger to each fingertip, melting away, holding, melting away, gripping, so that on your next exhale, feel the arms get heavy as they completely relax.
falling into your neck, relaxing all the muscles in your neck. Your neck is completely relaxed. Starting to feel your head with this warm golden light. Melting away any worries so that your forehead is clear and completely free of worry lines. Feel the jaw relax. And the tongue just rest loosely in the mouth. Let the eyelids be heavy as you relax the little tiny muscles around the eyes. Relax the ears, the nose, and the cheeks. Feel that your whole face is joyful and peaceful. And each time you breathe in, the brighter that warm glow fills the body. And each time you breathe out, all the tension, tightness, fears, anxiety drip down into the earth, melting away from the body. And if any thought start to flutter into your mind. Just imagine and remember that you are lying under that beautiful blue sky. And your thoughts are just clouds passing by and evaporating into the atmosphere. So we can observe our thoughts as a watcher, rather than indulging in the stories that they're telling us. Very, very slowly start to deepen your breath. Lengthen your inhale and lengthen your exhale. Taking a few deep breaths in through the nose. Fill the whole body with breath, but also breathing in vitality, energy, positivity, and exhaling out the mouth breathing out the breath, but also fear, negative emotions, anxiety. Start to become aware of sounds you hear outside of the room you're in. So what's the furthest sound you can hear? So bringing our awareness back to the outside world. Become aware of any sensations on your skin. Is it cold, hot, damp? Can you taste anything in your mouth? And then imagine you're an animal who's just coming out of a winter's hibernation. How slowly can you invite a little movement back into your body? by slowly wiggling your fingers and your toes. Slowly moving the hand, maybe rotating the wrist. And then even slower, reaching both arms above you. And imagine you've just woken up in the morning and this is the very first stretch of the day. So exploring this stretch, 
with new as it's as if it's a new experience. And then slowly bring your knees in towards your chest and just take a moment to give yourself a massive hug. And if you haven't got your knees into your chest, just take the arms around the chest. So just showing yourself some appreciation. We're literally giving ourselves a hug. We're making time to do your yoga practice, but it's more than that making time for you, for your nourishment, for your self-care, for your relaxation. So just giving yourself a massive hug and then rolling over onto one side if you're lying down into the fetal position and just take a moment here in your fetal position just feeling completely supported by the earth. And then using the hands as slowly and mindfully as you can, press yourself up into a comfortable seat. So your comfortable seat could be cross-legged. It could be sat in a chair. It could be leaning against the wall, feet flat on the floor or legs extended. So just taking a time to come into your comfortable seat and bring both hands onto the knees and close down your eyes. With the eyes closed, can you lean the upper body back a little bit? So leaning your upper body backwards a little bit. Imagine that you're leaning into something or someone you love. That can be a beautiful tree. It can be a person. Just take a moment to feel the love and support radiating behind you. And then bring a smile to your mouth. And your invitation is to take that smile with you for the rest of your day and the rest of your week. And then slowly peel the eyes open. Namaste. Thank you very much for practicing mindfulness yoga with me, everyone. I hope you had a lovely practice. Um, any questions, comments, please do let me know. I'm just going to take everyone off, um, uh, off mute now, if I can. If it allows me to, and it did. That's fantastic. Hello, everyone. I hope you had a really uh, good practice. Um, as mentioned at the beginning, um, do you join the Facebook group Parkinson's Care and Support UK? They've got loads of free content, free videos and stuff. If anyone does want to donate, it is a charity um, and you can donate on their website. I will be back here for more mindfulness yoga uh, next week at the same time. So I really hope everyone um, joins me again. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Take Thanks care. Thanks so much. Bye. Have a good week. Thank you. Have a lovely week and see you all again soon. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Valerie. Thanks, Penny. Cheers, Angela. Cheers, Susan. Thanks, Jane. Thanks, Rosa, Maria. Thank you, Thank so you Martin. Cheers, guys.